Hello everyone, this is KJ and welcome back to Planet Crafter. Uh, today we are, I've been chanting this to myself so I wouldn't forget trees, fish, and frogs. Uh, we have, <laughs> we have the two trees to put in. As you see, I put down the tree spreaders so I didn't have to carry them around. They're over there next to the frog things. Um, we also have uh, the ability, uh, there we go, to set our fish free. Uh, so we need uh, phytoplankton, abioplastic, and silk. And we're going to get right started. Uh, bioplastic. There we go. Uh, these fish farms only take one fish each, so I'm going to have to do some uh, more work. Uh, silk. Oh, good. I have plenty. Uh, I'll just put one of those back and grab a phytoplankton and grab a tilo egg, which we got from our water life collector. That way, uh, that way I don't have to take down the aquarium, which I think is really pretty. And kind of the point of, you know, uh, this base is pretty. And as for Lee's comment, yeah, CBA, man. <laughs> I don't feel like the drone T2 is enough of a, of a uh, launch forward. It's not enough for me to put out all the effort it takes to move all my drones. I've done that before, but, uh, you know, I mean, if you insist, well, <laughs> I'll get T2 drones, but they're a little bit difficult to make, I think. All right, I, I, you have to exchange one part. So here we go fish farm um we can put it on the shore this is a very small pond and i do want them to be in the pond so let's stand on top of this thing and see if i can Ugh. there we go nope nope it can't be on an algae all right there is our first fish farm i haven't tested to see if we can put uh these um uh machine optimizers underwater but they do have a range of 75 meters. So if the fish do something special with the uh, machine optimizer, let me know. So there is our Tilus. They came from this pond. They are the natural fish for here. I'm going to go swimming with the fishes now. There we go. Let me turn on the lights so they look better. Oh, they love the algae. All right, I feel better. <laughs> So I'll put a couple more of those around. And, uh, oh, I forgot to look at the numbers. Uh, 780 grams per second animals. And I think it's animals that's lagging behind. Uh, but insects, I believe, was the one that we needed to launch forward. And that's something we got to work on, or I've got to work on. Uh, I spent the afternoon making bees uh, to add more bean farms. Alrighty. Uh, so let's switch over to biomass. So the animals uh, are coming from the, um, the fish farms. And there's our fish farm right there. And then uh, if we look down here, we need 225 uh, tons of insects to get beehive T2 so that we can launch forward with, uh, with the farming. And I'll just go ahead and uh, jump on over there. I swear to God, I'm going to put a teleporter in there. And then we'll put the trees in. And then we'll go frog hunting. Because frog hunting is what I've wanted to do all day. But I wanted to save it. So, uh, as you see, I put in quite a bit more eggplant. I am having trouble with this issue. Demand. Oh, I see. It's supplying. That's why it can't go over there. Let's steal some of that food. <laughs> Let's eat some of that food while we're there. Ah, oh, you know, um, Cato, I don't know what to do about that. I need it to both supply and demand the food, don't I? Or I could put in a second auto crafter so that it has more. 
we'll have to see. Uh, the drones are now doing other things uh, as well. They, I've started to add things to their list of stuff to do. So they are also supplying uranium and iridium and osmium. And uh, the reason they're supplying osmium is because I'm running out of it faster uh, making fusion cells. Because first I have to make the pulsar cord and then the fusion cell. And I think that is part of that. I hate it when I can't just open this and look at the recipe for something. All right, here we go. Uh, I am going to put a machine optimizer on these trees. So that is 1.25 kilograms per second plants. And of course, uh, also oxygen, uh, 51 uh, parts per ton per second. And there's our second tree. And when we get back uh, from frog hunting, we will have those beautiful pink trees over here. <laughs> Hopefully not so many of them that they invade the base. I, I hope I'm far enough away. I, I don't know if I am, but we'll, we'll have to see. All right, there are frogs here somewhere. Uh, that's the light. Uh, these, I believe, are generic frogs, if I can find any of them. I think there's maybe one out the back door? Or was, the, I don't remember where they all are um, I don't know where they are they're around here somewhere maybe they're hiding because they know I'm gonna pick them up and move them all right let's go <laughs> let's go down here first oh boy all right are there frogs in here <laughs> oh, look at this. Cool. The longer you don't touch those boxes, the better they get. Um, honest to Pete, I don't know if there's frogs in here. Watch me fly right past them because I'm flying way faster than I should. That sounds important. I'm having one of those idiotic days. Oh, God. See what I mean? Just about to say, having one of those idiotic days when I can't remember anything. I know, I went past the, the exit. I was just looking over here because we flew in over here. All right. We're hunting for frogs. We're off and away, but I need to see if I possibly can what just hit the ground. I can't get high enough off the ground to see anything. Should have hit fairly close to the mushroom farm. Uh, I don't know. Let's go to the crater. dear. Oh, good. I have a whole bunch of water on me that I shouldn't have. I think uh, these are generic frogs, too. There's special frogs in there. We'll go grab those. And I think there's special frogs in the zeolite cave? I can't remember. These are generic. We'll, we'll need these uh, generic frogs to make other frogs with. Okay, there's two of those. There's many more. <laughs> there's hundreds of millions of them. I'm just kidding. We could use the teleporter to do this, but that would mean flying all the way back to the base again. All right, now then, what's up here? These are also generics. Those are the regular crater frogs, I gather. I'm still 
standing on the ground. <laughs> oh, we can make seed lermas now. I have like a dozen of them. Oh, this is driving me crazy. There we go. <laughs> We can take the teleporter back. That's the good news. <laughs> the thing that I like about the um, the rockets, the trade rockets, and the drones in combination is no matter how much you're making or how much you're trying to make, I'm not trying to make a million, but no matter how much you're making, um, do I have to go underneath? I don't remember. Um, they just take care of it themselves. It's not like a major uh, thing, you know. Up we go. I've found these in the past. I've found them very difficult to, to locate and to retrieve because of the unevenness of the ground. Up. Very rooty in here. <laughs> Alright, let's go up here first. Alright. I don't like I don't like things constantly stopping me from moving. And so maybe that's why I've found it difficult. That's the exit, so we'll go over here. Did I go past one already? Hello. Alright. Doesn't appear to be one in that gap. go I'm hopping those are pretty cool looking so there's one of them pretty sure there's more than one. Oh, I'm stuck in the <laughs> stuck in the stuff what is all that that building stuff I don't even know was that added later? I can't see anything. They're opposite each other, but that doesn't really help me because I don't know where I was before. <laughs> there we go. Can I drink this kind of water? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's raining in here. Can't we just go out that way? Oh my goodness. Alright, I don't know if there's more than two of them. But I got two of them, so let's go. I'm hopping because I'm holding down the jetpack key so that I move faster. <laughs> Ow, I just broke my leg. <laughs> Stop fooling around. <laughs> this is so slow. Ugh. That pop-in was weird. That's all right. Pretty sure we took everything the first time out of here except for that heater. And someone asked me why I, why I didn't take that heater. I don't need this stuff from it. Uh, I think you saw the... Uh, can you not go over this rail? <laughs> I think you saw that huge T2 uh, locker storage full of rods. Yeah, I don't need that. Up we go. I hope. <laughs> Can't even get over a dumb railing. 
All right, so I'm leaving the teleporter here. So if I missed one, let me know. And uh, we'll come back down for another one. So let's go straight to Zeolite. And Frogo. Very, very cool one. Trade you frogs. These ones, I also don't know their, all their exact locations. But we'll just fly around and see if we can find a couple of them. Here's another one. All right. Now, I only have room for five of these. Oh, that's a seal light rock, not a frog. No need to go all the way around that thing. <laughs> this jetpack is so, so fast. There it is right there. All right. Now we've got three trade juice and two golden ones. And uh, we'll go put those in. And then I looked through the fuses. I didn't see anything that was specifically uh, for animals. All right, here we are home. Some kind of a storm situation going on. I'm gonna have to fly around at some point and see if I can work out what where that um, where that meteor landed. I don't see anything immediately. All right, so we got our little trees coming in, and now we can put our frogs in. Uh, there's a golden frog, and there's a treju frog. These might, if there is a uh, fuse for this, then they might have to be, well, maybe not. I was thinking they might have to be closer together, but maybe not. All right, we've got frogs. We've got, oh God, look at them all lined up on the beach, ready for their commands. We've got frogs, we've got beautiful trees coming in. We've got these pretty fish floating around. And, um, a couple more of them. There might be more in here, actually. Uh, one more in there, so I'll just take all of that. And, of course, also, if that's not all the special frog locations, then uh, you tell me the name of the biome that they go to. Or that they come from. Okay, and there's a... F oh, I think the fish are all downstairs. Quite possibly. And I think, although I've got these... Oh, wait a minute. I'm sure that I set this up better than that. Yeah, I've got them right there. That doesn't go in there. Uh, a, B, C, plankton. B, plankton. There we go, we'll save those. And I think the frogs are, or the fish were in here maybe. I don't know what I did with them all. Oh, they're in the silk, God. You guys are probably screaming at me by now. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because no matter what I do, like at least half of you are gonna complain about how I did it. So it's just that kind of a game. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, osmium. No, those are pulsar quartzes. There's some osmium. So we have an overflow of zeolite. Uh, we don't need that. We have uranium and iridium coming in from the drones. We have a uh, production, three production fuses uh, on the methane. We already do have some pulsar quartz going. It's just going to keep going. So let's grab some of those. Alrighty. And I am dying to know what kind of a meteor that was, where it hit. It sounded like a, uh, a meteor with blue crates.
And I know there's got to be generic eggs around here somewhere. Uh, generic frog eggs. Oh, God. This is always dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's getting really close to the base. Oh, I put a stair in on the other side of that uh, biodome there. All right, well, I don't see anything. And anything that would have hit loud enough for us to hear it in the mushroom cave would have to have hit over here, right? Let's get down there. No? All right. Uh, I don't see anything. You can see the fish swimming in there. <laughs> Oh, 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 <laughs> those are some tough leaves. Um, I don't see anything. All right, let's go see if we can do this really, um, what should be really simple thing of putting in the upper floors of our new biodomes. Was that everything I picked up there? Uh, no, the cooking station too. So the kitchen can also go in. That's pretty simple. Uh, oh, I've already got all of that on me. All right, brand new biodomes, here we go. We need uh, uh, iron, titanium, and super alloy. I already have some. I need one more. There we go. That thing is full. As always, I've emptied it and used it and emptied it and used it. Now hopefully, you know what, this is not going to sit like that. I can put in one, take out the thing, and then put in the other one. All right. That's what I'll do. You need a support for this. Uh, something for it to latch to. And hopefully this, I think this radar dish might be in the way. Maybe not. It's three, three things wide, so we'll put one of these in. Because that'll snap to the bottom there. And then we will try to put one of these in. I'm gonna have to do this up here. I think. Oh my goodness gracious, I fell into a tree. Did it work? It worked anyway. <laughs> now let's see if this, uh, oh, I needed cobalt. For goodness sake, of course I need cobalt. It's a window. Well, that's good, I don't have to, do I have to take back the whole thing? Nope. I've got it all. <laughs> Botherations. Let me up. <laughs> You're in the way. All right, here we go. Let's see if this will snap. It does not snap. It doesn't have a snap point on the bottom. And we do want it to line up. There we go. God, how am I going to get that high off the ground? There we go. <laughs> nope, I flew right over it. Ah, <laughs> oh, bother. They're both? Oh. <laughs> they are not both iron. <laughs> All right, here we go. That is snapped. Fantastic. All right, I don't think that I want to leave these in because um, I can't put a stair right there. Well, I suppose I could, but it would be irritating to me. Uh, all right, now then, interior walls are just iron. 
and uh, oops, 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 oops. I was gonna put interior walls right here instead of these. They look like the insides of the spaceship walls. That's cool. All right, and I need the stuff for that. Nope, I've got it. I'm probably gonna have to move this though. I'm probably not gonna like its location. Actually, it's fine. I, I just can't. Uh... <laughs> it's in the wall. <laughs> Um, all right, well, we'll just, uh, put it right here in the middle. There we go. Now we need another one. Hmm. I'm thinking now, uh, if we can put them on either side and still walk... Oh, it has to be in the wall. Oh, that's not good. It can't sit right there. It has to be over here. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> that's alright. We can walk around that just fine. Alright. You know what I could do? Is I could put it over here. It lets me go a little bit over there. I wonder why it wouldn't let me do it over there. Alright, finally. We are finally in this room. And I need the stuff to make windows because I don't like that solid wall thing. Uh, yeah. Wow. Now, they were supposed to uh, clear the glass, and I think that is a little bit clear. <clears throat> That's pretty awesome. And we can see through the roof, too. Oh, God, there's already bugs. <laughs> there's no way I can get that bug, either. <laughs> All right, we need some uh, glass. <laughs> I think there should be stuff right here for that. There's a little bit. Uh, three, is that right? I think we only need three for right now. And then I need iron as well. That's why I put all of these locker storages over here. was for building supplies. And uh, then I've I've taken so many of them, it's ridiculous. Alright. I've decided uh, this is going to be the kitchen. Alright, here we go. Oh, you have to be facing it. Okay. Alright. Uh, glass. Alright, that's better. Now, I don't know... I don't even have anything that I can build here. Um, yeah, I don't even have iron. Okay. So, I was going to test to see because when these domes first came out, there was problems putting things in here. You know. All right. Well, there is uh, some work being done on the base. kind of cool. <laughs> Here we go. I got him. <laughs> I didn't get the one that was on the roof up there. Maybe if I... Yes! <laughs> now we're getting higher and higher. Maybe he fell off the roof? I don't see it. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, hello. That's pretty clear glass. I mean, compared to what it used to be. That is our view over there. All right. We can see all of our 
uh, pink trees coming in. It's awesome. You kind of have to travel around the jungle to see anything, really. I've got to get rid of that veggie tube. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> All right, we did fish and frogs and um, uh, building and things. <laughs> and I showed you the garden expansion. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep that dome out there. It, it takes power, but again, we've got, you know, a huge amount of power and we have a ton more fuses too that I don't have anything else to use them on. So probably that's what I'm going to use them on. <laughs> all right, you guys. I want to thank you all so much for coming along. I do hope uh, that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.